There you go, Bob. We lost it. And don't try your ponies or else the assistant gets it. I, I, but, I, but, not only the assistant, but the last remaining copy of Lana Turner's Imitation of Life gets it too. Stop, Bob. Stop, Bob. It's dead. It pays to know your public. OK, go. I know. Wait a minute. Or a woman bending her arm there. She goes great. Go, go, go! <laughs> Roses in the door, babies on the floor. <laughs> Hello there, and welcome to another edition of Big Rab's Shitey Garden. <laughs> so, so you had to take an ordinary piece of shitey waste ground and turn it into an ordinary piece of shitey waste ground with a flowering shrub. <laughs> what do you reckon? Eh? Wait, you see, actually, now wait, that's it. Look, this is my pond as well. Look, 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 look at that. Lovely colour water, isn't it? <laughs> and that is the old folks. See you in there. See you in there. Fish. Fish? <laughs> what kind of fish, I hear you nature lovers ask, could survive in a pond where the microbes are bigger than they are? Answer? Common fish. We have men fish. Problem fish. Single parent fish. <laughs> See these fish? These fish have probably got a wee social worker fish swimming behind them. Can't persuade them not to jump out the pond and nut the birds. And then she's gonna shave job in an aquarium or that, you know? Anyway, like I say, this is the new Mellow Rab, a dirty big pastoral bastard. Privileged <laughs> with my newfound maturity. Uh, you're right, Rab. What's that? Uh, pull up something hideous and sit down. Eh, hey, no, no, thanks, no, I'm, I'm no stopping. I was just actually sitting there contemplating the wondrous bounty of nature. Well, scratch my ass with a knitting needle. <laughs> I'm free, actually. I've got a shock like the Y Valley these days. Yeah, well, that's middle age for you, Rab. Anything that isn't already sagging is opening up with the San Andreas fault. See, when I'm sitting in a lobby, like, you know, after Ella's just cleaned it, on a clear day, I can see my pancreas. <laughs> oh, really, yeah. See, that is the trouble with you. That's the trouble with middle age. You're too old for rollerblades. And you have two young for a bowling green, you know, that's why you've, you've actually got to take up an interest. And that's why I have chosen nature. <laughs> See, I think nature chose you, Ram. And look at that. It's magnificent. <laughs> Open spaces, wildlife, contentment. God, you can't whack it. It would bore me stupid right enough, but then that's because I'm younger at heart than you are, you know. That'll all be tied into why you've got a pair of stockings in your top pocket there, eh? Give me that! Give me that. Oh, look at this. Oh, look at this. It's even got eye holes, for God's sake. <laughs> what fresh cesspit of the imagination have you been poking your nose into now, eh? It's hey. a ski... It's a ski cap! <laughs> it's a ski cap. A ski cap. Oh, it's a ski cap. And, eh... Uh, where, where, where's the skis? Never mind the skis. Where's the snow? Never mind the snow. Where's the hills and govern? Away, ya, ya slalom brim bam, ya. At least I can still dream, which is more than I can say for you these days. What do you mean? Well, look at you. Sitting there with your problem fish and your one poxy shrub, jibbering on about maturity. You are turning into a bigger cabbage than anything in this allotment, pal. Are you talking to me? Are you talking to me? You stung here with your, with your split crunch ski cap. And, and, and you pass judgment on me. Well, I will tell you this, boy. Well, tell me it later, Rab, will you? What, what? Oh, I see, that's it, is it? That's the busies. I'll tell you this, boy. You want to buck up your ideas if you want to live to see your old age? What do I care about old age? It's my quality of life, knew that couldn't be me. Are you, are you trying, are you trying to say I've lost my edge here? Well, let me put it this way. 
The next thing they plant in this allotment will probably be you and our wooden box. Now, I, on the other hand, am away to watch 20 great disasters whilst eating a box of tomato monster munch. What did you hear of me, you bum? Yeah, I could out-edge you any day. Even on a day when I'm blunt, I've got more edge than you. Slappers. Slappers. <laughs> Why are you wearing slippers? Oh, yes, you are, Rab. Up here. How are you, cheeky bum, you yeah. I've a good mind to take a shrub break up and ram it right up your ass. <laughs> Is that the word you're looking for, Rab? Ass? Well, in the old days, you wouldn't have stopped to tell me about it. Oh, did I mention they've got a seal on it, Dulcies? And they've got lovely tartan slippers! Come <laughs> on, get to it! <laughs> Why don't I visit you up the sheltered house in a couple of weeks' time? And wear some pamper so I'll recognise you. <laughs> but in the meantime, get a life! <laughs> what do you make her? Did you see that there? Did you see that? Patronised by a jacket with an asshole at each end. <laughs> Luckily, most people know the real me. Well, what do you think? Well, I wouldn't wear that my string fellas. <laughs> I know, but they're for an elderly person. Somebody that's lost the place a wee bit. Talking a witch. Oh. <laughs> All right, Rab. Norrie's got a present for you. Have you? Yeah, hey. What is that? Well, old Benny McCallum died, and his widow Isa was clearing out his stuff. And, well, she asked me if I knew somebody who might have a use for these. And I thought I knew. Clever. Rare and warm, rare and warm Rab. Fleecy lined and everything. And that's not all, Rab. Show him, Norrie. Look, Rab. Dominoes. Dominoes? Oh, I had a dominoes up here. I know, I dominoes, Rab. What did I do? Did you do that? What is it we used to? What makes you think I've turned it into a decrepit, dribbling mouth breather all over? It's the allotment, isn't it? Vegetable is as vegetable does, Rab. I take it you don't want old Benny's stuff, then? No, I don't want old Benny's stuff. You can take old Benny's stuff and ram it. No need to elaborate. I'll tell Isa. Get me a pint, you swines that you are. What'd you make of that, eh? Some people. Aye. Just as well I never showed them the truss. <laughs> oh, it's a dodo. Right, the guy says, what video are you looking for? So I says, eh, uh, have you got brown trousers? The guy says, no, I don't have brown trousers. So I says, you soon will have if you don't enter that till. So then I wipes this out. Put that away, you. It's only a replica. I don't care. There is nothing smart about waving that gun about. You're impressing nobody. And that right, Ella? Can I just touch that, son? <laughs> Relax, Ella. Only fire's blanks. <laughs> Jamesy, you're round. I know right, Ella, in a minute. I'm talking to Mr. Brammer. I'll get them in, Jamesy. Unless of this Mr. Stuff. Just call me mental. <laughs> Thanks very much. It's much appreciated. Mental. <laughs> all right, my man. All right, my man. Hey, all right. So I wonder if he can still walk with your tongue rammed up his ass like that. <laughs> as ever you and these old meds. Because they're exciting. Men of respect. Like you used to be before you took up shrubbery. All right, all right, don't start, don't start. I can't believe it. It's wee Mary Regan, isn't it? Well, Mary Nesbitt these days. Still the same wee Mary you used to fancy. Believe it. I would have done anything for you way back then. Or anyone. I must say, you've done awful well for yourself, Frankie. I know well enough, Mary. I didn't get you. You must be some ultra-special, high-class dude and a half. The lucky tube that won your hat. Well, judge for yourself. That's him standing there. there. Oh! <laughs> you are going to electricity board. No. Well, take that gleam out your eye when you're talking to my wife. Hey, go on yourself, da. Spank him with your slipper. No need, young yen. I'm off I'll be in touch about that wee bit business, Jamesy. Think about it, Mary. <laughs> I mean, I don't know what it is with you, Lee. You nag me for years with all that. There is no excuse for violence, Pa. 
And then you end up getting a hots for some knackered old hoodlum. I do not have the hots for him. Oh, no? I'll bet you Nori had to wipe your seat with a bath towel when you left. That's it. I'm not going to sit here with you throwing accusations at me. Well, look at it from that point of view. How the hell do I know there's nothing going on between you? Hey? I've only seen him for 20 years. Oh, I Playing the cautious card. Only seen him once in every while, eh? Oh, I Sex every two decades. I can get a score rate like that after you. There you are. You see, you admit it. I do not admit it. Look. There is nothing going on between me and Frankie Brammer, and that is final. Oh, no. Frankie Brammer said to give you Oh, look, Rob. Isn't that a lovely, friendly gesture? And there's a card, too, Auntie Mary. <laughs> Dearest doll, these floors cost 50 quid. Any chance you have shag? Look, Frankie. <laughs> you are you going to tell me there's nothing going on between you? Because I will tell you this, lady. It's for you. Who is it? It's Jimmy the Wheels. Huh? Jamesy. Uh, hello. Uh, Jimmy the Wheels. Aye. Uh, here's Rob the Slippers. <laughs> Cotter, what the hell do you want? Oh, come on, Rob. Is that any way to talk to a bloke that's offering you a dirty big dog a good life? Good life? What the hell are you gibbering on about? Right. Meet me outside the Chip Emporium at one o'clock and I'll put you in a picture. Thanks very much, Frankie. Oh, and thank you for inviting me to the club. This is the first time I've had a jacuzzi. Judging by the colour of the water, it's the first time you've had a bath. <laughs> so, sorry, Frankie. It's just that you... I just took the opportunity to bless some of my wives, you know. Oh, And I've got a lunch date as well. So, sorry, Frankie. <laughs> Anybody I know? Never you mind. We'll away and get what body sandpaper. Meantime, <laughs> just you work on that wee bit business for next week. You got that third party yet? Well, well, I'll try, Frankie, but I don't know if he'll be up for it. I could get you one of the boys. Up. Let me ask you something. Do you enjoy owning a wally? <laughs> well, you put it on that, Frankie. I'm, I'm sure he'll be up for a wee career change, eh? You make sure he is. Come on, Frankie. Come on. <laughs> Are you sure this is absolutely necessary? Believe me, this is for your own good. The less you know at this stage, the better it is for you. Well, I mean, I'm, I'm cutting about here with a blanket on my head, for God's sake. You know, look conspicuous. You forget, this is Govan. Here's the bus. Boy, you have to understand, I am a professional. It wouldn't be day if you were to know your destination. To your entry. Oh, shit! Professional, a professional! Hey, I was a class bum, yeah. Oh, aye. Well, you want to run me a blanket on his seat? Pain him, man, and shut up. Yeah, just wait a minute, Mr. Drake. Nature. Adol. You can't whack it. Look, there's even a light skin of diesel out of the loch so the jet skis can skim more smoothly on the water. Thanks again for coming. It's all right, Frankie. When you said you might have a job for Rab, I could hardly see no, could I? It'll be our wee secret until it's cut and dried. Some man's too. <laughs> if I say no to my greens, can I still get a pudding? Of course you will, be. It's just that being for govern, me and greens don't exactly get on, you know. You deserve the good things in life, Mary. What would you say if I was to tell you that your struggling times could be over. Well, that's really up to you, isn't it, Frankie? Oh, no, Mary. It's up to you.
chips are right, aren't they? Are they right? I mean, not what are they like? What are they like? They're like chips. They're not trying to be smart and let me think of sausages or nothing. You know, they're fine again. Chips that is. Fine. <laughs> I mean, they have a pie. Mm -hmm. Sure. Oh. And a Malteser. Wait a minute, wait a minute. What's with all this attention to my welfare all of a sudden? I mean, you haven't bothered your ass for the past 40 years, and now you're trying to fatten me up like a Christmas turkey. What's going on here? I promised you a good life, and a good life you shall have. What? A Malteser and a poke of chips? For that reckon, and I achieved La Dolce Vita when I was eight. That'll explain why my life has been an anticlimax ever since. Not anymore, Rab. Your life is about to perk up. How your name? Wait till Mary clocks this, Rab, eh? The magic wad. One wave of this and birds' drawers just disappear. I think this will get Mary back interested in me again, Jim. Uh, not so fast, Rab. This will be yours. Once we've done our wee message for Frankie. What wee message? That wee message. Next week, Frankie wants us to get him something out of that shop. Oh, aye. What? The till. The what? It's up yourself, Rab. But something's going to disappear. It's either that till or your wife. Pierre, where's what scran? Coming, it's coming, it's coming. Here. It called me a traditionalist, Uncle Rab, but uh, we're kind of used to plates, you know. Mother would have given us plates. Aye, well, Mother's no here. And as long as Daddy is in charge, we are keeping the washing up to a minimum. <laughs> New one, plates are ornaments in that truth. Oh, is Mother away a wee message, Daddy? Ah, that's right. Mammy's away a wee message. And see when she comes back, Uncle Rab, is she going to have bowly legs and a big cold sore? That's <laughs> <laughs> my wife, you Aye, uh, all right, all right. There's no need to take her out on us. Aye, if you hadn't a pledge of life to slippers and allotments, she wouldn't be running around with Frankie for excitement. Garbage! Mary would never run around with Frankie Brammer. Oh, no? Well, you know so bloody well much. If she's no with Frankie, where the hell is she well? Hello, Rab. Mary, where the hell are you? I'm sorry I'm late. I've had a hell of a day. I'm up to my neck yet. I'll be home soon. Mary, Mary. Cheerio. <laughs> Still lapping up the jacuzzi, Mary doll. I'm a what? <laughs> I must say it's a wicked colour. What made you go for this brown and blue two-tone effect? Aye, well, there's a story behind that. The important thing is that you like what you see. Because you're going to be seeing a lot more of it uh, from now on. I don't know. Seems like every other day there's a headline like this. Never thought I'd see it, but I blame all this violence on the telly. What say you, Rob? Ha, oh, I mean, don't talk, man. You're telling me that if I sit and watch an episode of Dr. Finlay, I'm going to go out and try and take out somebody's appendix. <laughs> you know, it, boy. The jail's is full of murderers, but you'd be hard-pressed to find one who battered the victim to death with an episode of Tanger. Hey, don't bite my head off. You're off your tense today, Rob. Something the matter? It, it's never you mind. It's never you mind. All I'm saying is violence is sexy, right? And it's been the same since the year dot, since the first Neanderthal swaggered out his billet with his spear at a rakish angle. And if you don't believe me, if you don't believe me, take a swatch at that. Oh, go on, Mary. It'll not take long. What do you think, eh? Oh, I don't know. 
I'll have to ask my lady in waiting. <laughs> he wants me to go up to his house. He says he's got a surprise for me. I'll bet he has. Handcuffs and a cat and nine tails. Tell him there is no way that you're going. Tell him I'll go instead. <laughs> I'm sure you're wrong, Ella. All right, I'll come. But no funny business. Mary, you've got the wrong end of the stick. You just keep your stick in your trousers. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a married woman, remember? Only that, that hadn't escaped my attention. Ah, well, I'll just tell Rab and we'll be off. Rab? Yes, Rab. Is Rab not here? Maybe he's on a wee message. <laughs> You two old up? Aye. So, what you got in there? Uh, well, have a bottle of empty, right there. <laughs> oh, 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 good shout, Rab, aye. You threaten to spill that all down their nice clean overalls, they'll haunt that pillar pronto. All right, schmat ass. Let's see what you've got. No, 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 no. Professional rap. It's tucked in my waistband. I don't want to whap it out in public for fear of fighting the names and running out. You right? Aye, I'm right. Do you feel the adrenaline pumping? Aye. All the way down my leg. Hey, <laughs> remember, you're doing this to impress Mary. 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 Exactly what I expected. <laughs> no. I haven't changed a thing since Mother died. Mother was special. That's her straight jacket up there on the wall. <laughs> I got all her ward mates at Broadmoor to sign it when she died. Big Burzy up Wendy. Wilma the Willy Greer. <laughs> As for Mother, I got all my charisma. <laughs> I'm beginning to realise that. Now, come and get a swatch in the bedroom. No, sir. This is it. Hi, right, casual. <clears throat> oh, uh, these are very nice bulbs, Rabbi. That's uh, very bulbous. Yes, I, I, I do admire their... their... Balmosity. Exactly. <laughs> so what's your plan? It's fiendish. You see that big, ugly swine behind the till? Aye. Right. Right. That pre-arranged signal, we go over there and do the business. You what? He's in it. Frankie set it up. I told you, it's fiendish. an exact copy of my bedroom at home. Frankie, what's going on? I got the details off at Ella. I want you to come here and live with me. Why? Mary, I'm tired of being a Ned. Sure there are highs in my life. I've murdered 14 people and I once shoved a bishop into a tumble dryer. <laughs> but I want to settle down. Look, I have a furry cover for my hot water bottle. I have a pair of tartan slippers under the bed. Give me a chance, Mary. I can be boring. Please. Frankie, no. Seems to have escaped your attention, but I am a married woman. Not anymore, you're not. What do you mean? I was going to keep it as a surprise, but you might as well know. I've murdered your husband. Give him the malky. You've what? Had him stuffed. Ah, don't look at me like that, Mary. It was my last murder. Cross my heart. <laughs> Tomorrow, we'll start a life of tedium just like everybody else. 
What do you think? Happy dollar. Mister, you are off your bloody head. <laughs> Okay, pal, make it look good. I certainly will. Is it your wife that Frankie fancies? The one whose wife's a widow? What are you talking about? My wife's no widow. She is now. Frankie says to give you this. sense to stick at 17 in the pontoon game of my life. You're always looking for that wee magical number that'll make everyone fair. Well, there's only one number for me, Rav, and that's two. You coming up the road for your tea? Aye, aye, we are here. Just uh, water the plant. <coughs> Tell me, you see much of uh, Frankie nowadays, Mary? Oh, I haven't seen him for weeks. I couldn't tell you whether he's alive or dead. Plants fairly come up, haven't you? TLC, Mary. Tender, loving care. And about 15 stone of fertiliser that's buried underneath it, if you get my meaning. Hey, Rob, see that TLC? You get any left for me? If you have the pollen, Mary, I have the stem! <laughs> <laughs> and that's, that's the thing about me, isn't it? It doesn't matter how tame you get, your woolly still have its head. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's nice. The way you water it, I'm bigger than it. <laughs> Peter! 